Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps, and I'm also a manager of people in my own company, Stratus Technology Partners. Um, one of the things that's happened with the lockdown has been a really sudden rise in the use of Teams, and from a management point of view, need to be able to keep in touch with people quickly around your organisation when they're all working from home or in remote locations. So within Teams, um, I've, there's a really useful little feature uh, that not many people have turned on by default, but it's something I think you should use. So down on the left hand side, we have this little button here called Add More Apps. If I click on here, you'll see a bunch of apps that can be installed into my Microsoft Teams environment. And one of those apps um, will be is a thing called Who. Now I've already installed Who, so it's appearing on my left hand um, panel over here. Um, but if you haven't installed it, you'll simply click Who from here and then choose Add to your organisation and it'll add. It'll ask you permission and you may require administrative rights to be able to do that, but once installed and permissions granted, you'll be able to use the app like this. So the first thing that the, the Who app allows me to do is ask questions in natural language. So I can ask the bot a question, who knows about PowerShell? It's going to ask that question and it's going to come back and said I found three people that know about PowerShell. So now I've found within my organisation three people that I could talk to and ask a question about PowerShell. Now that could be any question, it could be something like who knows about um, maternity leave or who knows about the travel policy or who knows about COVID-19, probably return everyone, I'm guessing at this stage. Now um, other questions you can do, if you just start typing who down here, it will give you examples of the sorts of questions you can ask. Um, who reports to someone? Who's a manager of a person? Uh, who have I emailed recently about something? Um, who in the team knows about a particular topic? Who have I messaged? Um, so how many, uh, especially if you're using chat in Teams quite a lot, uh, you might want to ask a question like, who have I messaged about uh, CRM? And we'll see if I've messaged anyone about CRM. And it says, sorry, I haven't found anybody in the last 12 months. That's a good question. So let's try another one. Who have I messaged about SharePoint? Now this will probably return a lot more people. In fact, it's probably going to return everyone. So at least five people in the organisation that I've spoken to about SharePoint. Um, from here, I can also hover over a person. So I can choose a person here and it will bring up some details. So when I click on them, it does like, who is um, Pavel? It's asked him who he is, and it brings up some details contact card on the screen. I can initiate a call, a video call. I can find out where he fits in the organization chart, send him a message. Um, I can find out who his manager is, who he works with, and who his peers are. So if I click who his manager is, I'll find that it's actually me. So it's just asking who is Pavel's manager, and it brings up my contact card. Now from here, um, I can also do things um, um, on the, and the other tabs at the top here. So we've got some uh, the ability to do things like um, see my organisation. And in here I've got my org chart. Now you'll notice it's got presence around people to see whether they're in the office or not. Um, I can hover over Nick here for example. And I can initiate a video call with them straight away. So if I'm doing my Monday morning check-in with the team, I can easily hover over each person, do a quick call, and not have to set up a whole series of um, online meetings. Just um, a quick impromptu um, call and I can see whether they're available to chat or not at a glance. So that's um, really useful. Another thing I can do from here is see my forthcoming meetings. Now I won't show you that because it's got um, some client confidential information in there, but it, essentially what it gives you is a list of the upcoming meetings that you have. Um, and back in chat, I can also um, ask a query and I can pin that query to the top. So I've got an ask an expert one up here. So if I click the expert query, it's asking, it's gonna pop some contact information up here for me. And to do that, it's a simple process of going back into my team, running a query, so who, um, and then whatever the query is that I want to do, and then I can pin that query and it appears at the top of the screen. So the chatbot itself, uh, for um, the MeBot I should say, is a really useful way to quickly um, find people in your organisation. It relies on the organisation chart being configured inside your Active Directory, so that's the manager field being populated. Uh, and contact information that also comes from your Active Directory as well. So if you have those basic things set up, this tool's available, it's free, it's a real time saver as a manager, um, and I hope you've learned something from this talk. If you have, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm doing lots of videos around Teams at the moment, and um, there's plenty of other things there to um, hopefully give you some tips and tricks. Thanks for your time.